On March the 10th, 241 BC, the navies of Carthage and Rome clashed in the waters of the Aegadi Islands, west of Sicily. This was to be the dramatic and decisive closing act of the First Punic War and a major turning point in the fortunes of the Republic. Until a year before, Rome had neither the fleet nor the funds to wage a war at sea. However, Carthage had never truly capitalized on its own naval superiority, preferring to engage Rome in a series of sporadic land battles across Sicily. 22 years of conflict had bled Rome's coffers dry. Keenly aware of its naval shortcomings, the Republic turned to its wealthiest citizens for their aid in co-funding and raising a new fleet. Commanded by Consul Gaius Lutatius Catullus, the new Roman fleet sailed for Sicily in 242 BC and blockaded the Carthaginian ports at Lilybaeum and Drepana. In response, Carthage commissioned reinforcements for its own navy and made for Sicily the following year. Laden with provisions and crewed with inexperienced hands, the Carthaginian fleet was no match for Rome's, who employed their lighter, more maneuverable vessels to swiftly position themselves and ram the enemy amidships. With fully half the Carthaginian fleet defeated and the rest put to flight, the result was a stunning victory for Rome. Her newfound naval dominance meant free reign to siege and blockade ports at will, leaving Carthage with no choice but to sue for peace. This marked the end of the First Punic War and proved a crucial stepping stone toward Rome's eventual dominion of the Mediterranean. The relics of this significant fleet action are still with us today and may be seen firsthand at the Storms, War and Shipwrecks exhibition at the Ashmolean, Oxford University's Museum of Art and Archaeology in the UK. This fascinating exhibition showcases many of the finds recovered from the sea floor around the Agadi Islands, including the very bronze rams adorning the prows of those fighting ships. Here at Creative Assembly, we were pleased to contribute simulated footage of the battle to the exhibition, using Total War Rome II to give an impression of what this decisive clash may have looked like. Storms, War and Shipwrecks runs until the 26th of September 2016, and you can find information and booking details below.